Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in this class, uh, the discussion is on uh, parameter passing. Okay, so in the previous video, we discussed about the categories of functions based on the arguments and return value. And we know what is a parameter and what is a return value, right? So, and coming to this concept parameter passing. So, here we are going to pass the parameters to a function right so how we are going to pass the parameters there are two ways to pass parameters one is by using pass by value and the second one is by pass by reference okay so we will see what is this pass by value and pass by reference in detail now coming to pass by value so when you are passing the value of the arg actual argument to a former argument then this method is called as pass by value method okay that is your passing a parameter by value so you are passing the values here value of the actual argument is copied into formal arguments so this is what pass by value and when the value of formal arguments is altered here then here the actual arguments will not get changed okay so i'll, I'll uh, explain you with an example now let us take this example so this is a C program for swapping of two numbers. So swapping means interchanging two numbers. For example, I can say if you are having A value as 10 and B value as 20. Now we are going to swap the value of A and B. That is you are going to interchange the value of A and B. Now A will get the value of B 20 and B will get the value of A as 10. Okay, so this is what called as swapping. And this program is written for swapping two values. And the uh, function that you're going to use here is swap. And here uh, we are using void type. So which means it won't return anything. And coming to the parameters, here we are passing integer. That is two parameters. Uh, both the parameters are of integer type. And if you see here carefully, I'm not specifying any variable name here. Okay. So it is okay to write a function declaration statement like this. Just we can specify the data type. It is enough to specify the data type. And it is not necessary that we should all also specify the variable that we are going to use here. Okay. It is not a, a, comp a necessary thing. Okay. We can just specify the data type here. It is absolutely okay to use this statement. And this is a declaration of a function and the function name is swap. Then coming to the main function, inside main function, we have two variables a and b with values 10 and 20. Now we are going to swap these two uh, values. Okay, that is a will be getting 20 and b will be getting 10 after swapping. So how we can do that swapping? And uh, after this statement, we have a printf statement which is going to print before swap the way uh, i mean the way values of a and b what is the values of a and b before swapping so obviously we know that before swap the value of a is 10 and the value of b is 20 so this will be printed as output in the output screen so this is the first line of output after this statement now the control comes to this statement so here is the function call we are going to call the function swap with two arguments a and b now value of a is 10 and value of b is 20 so now how the arguments are passed swap 10 comma 20 so the value 10 and value 20 is passed this is called as the actual argument okay so the function called arguments are called as the actual argument whereas these arguments are called as the formal arguments so now the values are passed the values of actual argument is copied into formal arguments now a will contain value 10 and b will contain the value 20 okay so these values are passed here and inside this function we have uh, temp okay we just uh, declared a variable called temp which is a temporary variable we are using to perform this swapping how we can swap these two values okay uh, just don't think in a c programming way just think logically how we can swap the value of a and b okay so for that purpose we are using this temporary variable that is, that is third variable we are using third variable called as temporary variable here and how we are going to swap the values initially we are going to assign the value of temp as a that is the a value will be assigned to temp now what is the value of temp temp is holding the value 10 right in the first statement then coming to the second statement we are assigning the value of b to a now, what is the value of A? A is updated to value B. B value is 20. 
So now A contains the value 20. And coming to the third line. So here we have B is equal to temp. Now B is assigned with the value temp. What is the value of temp? It is 10. So now B is assigned with 10. If you look at here, now the value of A is changed to 20 and B value is changed to 10. Which means we swapped the value of A and B. Right? So this is how we can swap the va two values. We can swap two values by using a temporary variable. Okay, so temp is equal to A, then A equal to B, then B is equal to temp. Just remember these things. Okay, this is how we can do it logically. Then after swapping, what, ha what is happening? We have a printf statement and this printf statement will print after swap. What is the value of A and B? So after swap, it will print 20 and 10, 20 for A and 10 for B. Now the values get swapped. So this is the example for pass by value. So what happens here is we are passing the values. Okay, here we are passing the values directly to the formal parameters. And one more thing, the second point here, the value of formal parameters is altered. The value of actual parameters are not changed. Here we know that we changed the value of A and B, right? Now A is having value 20 and B is having value 10. But these values are swapped only inside this function swap. Okay, so these changes are happened only inside this function swap. And coming back to this function, main function, here the values of A remains 10 and B remains 20 only. Here the values are not getting changed. Okay, if you are doing by uh, the method pass by value then the values will not get changed in your calling function okay the value remains same there will be no uh, reflection okay reflection in the this parameters in this uh, form actual parameters okay so the actual parameters remain same the value of a remains 10 20 and b remains 20 then coming to the second method pass by reference that is uh, you know what is a reference right so here reference means we are uh, denoting the address okay so we are denoting the address and here how what you are passing you are passing an address that is what a pass by reference so here we are passing an address and what is happening the address of the actual parameters are passed to formal parameters there we have copied the value of actual parameter to formal parameter but in this method address of actual parameters are passed to formal parameters and since we are passing the address that is we are passing the memory location itself and whenever we are changing a formal parameters then that changes will have reflection on actual parameters also because you are directly changing with the memory location you are, you are directly changing from the memory location so what happens that changes will have reflection on the actual parameters as well so this is what the effect of pass by reference using pass by reference. Then how we can use this pass by reference in a C code. So this is an example. The same swapping program I have taken. And in this swapping program you can feel the difference of previous program and this program. Okay. So if you look at the first declaration statement. Same. I am using the same written type void. And the function name is swap. And inside this we have a parameters, both the parameters of, are of integer type. But if you notice here, here I am using a pointer. Okay, Be because we are going to pass address. So if you are passing address to access the value, we need this pointers. Right? So here we are using pointer variables. And in main function, as usual, we have a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20. Then we are printing the value of a, that is before swap what will be the value of a and b after this statement we have a function call so if you see this function call the function call is on address of a so here we are passing the address of this a and address of this b okay so this is a function call calling this function swap so when this call is encountered by the compiler then the control directly moves to this function definition and here you are passing the address of a and address of b to this formal parameters okay so here we are not passing 10 and 20 directly but we are passing the address so here the address is passed to a and b right now if you are passing the address here this contains the pointer variable right so star a and star b if you use star a it will print the 
value that is pointed by that particular address and star b will print the value that is pointed by the uh, memory location that is pointed by the variable that is at the memory location okay so this is how it will take the values here now coming to the uh, function that is body body of the function as usual we have a temporary variable which is used to swap two values and if you look at here we are swapping the values by using the pointer here okay so we are using pointer here to swap the value so the same way temp is equal to a a is equal to b and b is equal to temp if you are doing like this now a will be changed as 20 and b will be changed as 10 so after swapping in function what is the value of a and b it prints 20 and 10 so if you are changing the values of a and b in this function this will also have reflection on the calling function that is in the actual parameters because you are changing the value directly on the memory location so the value will get changed here also if after the statement okay now the control goes back to the statement after the statement we have one more printf statement and this printf statement now prints the value of a and b after swap a and b so here what it will print after swap the value of a is 20 b is 10 so here also a and b value is 20 10 here also a and b value is 20 10 but before swapping the value of a and b is 10 20 right so this is how a pass by reference works this is all about the parameter passing methods